Hi, hi. In this uh, short video, I'm going to explain um, how to use the output statistic and the state statistics in your simio simulation model. Uh, let's say I have this model here, a very simple model where a model entity enters the source. Um, it's generated from the created from the source uh, at an interarrival um, time of random dot exponential ten minutes. It simply enters the system and it leaves through sync one. Uh, I can see the system running here. Um, I can, you know, it's not really doing much, it just enters and leaves. Okay. So um, all I want to do is count up the number of uh, model entities that have appeared and gone through this output source one. So obviously, I can get that directly by just looking at the results here. Um, but let's say I wanted to use a output statistics to do that. Okay, um, so if you look at my, I already have a variable called num and sys, okay, uh, which keep track of the number of entities that goes through this node here. Okay, uh, if I look at the status time in, it's already assigning a new value or incrementing that number and system value by one. Okay, so I can technically just, you know, fast forward this and go to the results here, okay, and I can just look at the, um, uh, you can look at the throughput, there's 564. <clears throat> or I can look at the number entry exit at that path. And you kind of know what the answer is. Okay, but let's say, you know, in your situation, um, you know, we don't have this luxury. It's a lot more complicated. Uh, it's not just simply, we only count it based on some kind of condition or some kind of correct, uh, it has to meet certain criteria, et cetera. Okay, so let's say, and we still use a variable to keep track, but it, 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 to count it up, it's going to be a lot more difficult, okay? Um, so once you have set up the, the bigger challenges, okay, uh, maybe you can look at it through in a single simulation. If you want to experiment with this in the experiment, though, um, if you get to the experiment, there is no easy way to add that um, state variable. If you add a response here, if you look on the expression, you really don't have an option for that state variable that you created, okay? So how do I do something with the state variable experiment? You have to go to definitions and create the correct statistic, okay? So I'm gonna look, there's three types of statistics in Simio. The output statistics, state statistics, and tally statistics. I'm gonna experiment with the first two. So I'll create both of them here. Okay, so they both require some kind of a input um, so in the output statistic, it requires an expression. So it could be, it doesn't have to be a state statistic. Um, so I'm gonna call this num in, type in num in system dot, oops, num in system. Okay, and then for state statistic, it has to be a state variable. Okay, so again, num in system. Okay, now once you add these uh, statistics, if you go to experiment, and you create a response, uh, now you have the option of accessing those. So I'll create an create a output statistics first, okay? Um, and then actually, you have to actually specify, oops, output statistic dot, create the value here. And I'll call this one um, output stat, and then for the other one, I'll use a state statistic. I'll call this state stat. And then the expression here will be the name of my state variable. I'm sorry, to, uh, state statistic. So state statistic dot. So you have more options here, right? The average half with the last recorded value. You can hover over and see what they do. Um, I think, you know, let's try the average and see what we get here. And I'll explain the difference. Uh, and then let's run these 30 replicates. Should be running, um, and you see there's gives you two different values here. Okay, so the opposite gives you a value of six hundred three point six, while the state statistics gives you a value of three hundred three point three one eight. It's roughly half, right? Um, roughly half, right? So why is this happening? Okay, so the opposite statistics, um, it's basically getting the value of your state variable, the number of system at the end of the simulation, right? Which is the total number of entities that went through the system. Uh, so that's roughly around 600. 
A state statistic, though, it's keeping track of that state variable throughout the simulation run. So it starts at zero and ends at roughly 600. So the average will be then roughly half of that, which is 300. Okay? So depending on what you want, um, you might want to use the opera statistic or state statistic. Technically, though, you could also use, a, I'll show you another one here, or we'll use state stat two here. If I want to use a state statistic instead of still, okay, and I want to know the total number of entries that I went through, what I can do instead is using either the last recorded value or the maximum here, or use the maximum in this case. Now, this only works if we know or we're trying to count up, and it's basically usually just an increment case where we're not really keep trying, keeping track of um, the one the value is going down, okay? So now if I run this, the output stat and the state stat two should now be exactly the same because um, the output stat is measuring the last value of that state variable now in sys, where state stat two is giving the maximum value of that state variable now in sys. So it should result in the same value, okay? So depending on what you're trying to do, one type of statistic may be more useful for you than the other. Um, so for example, you're trying to keep track of um, you know, number of entities that went through this part of my simulation that did X, Y, and Z. The output statistic may be the best way, but you know, depending on what you want to do, state statistics may be just fine. Uh, it really depends on what you want to do, but um, you know, just understand the different functionality and really the different options you have. Uh, with a state statistic, you have more options: average, uh, maximum, last recorded value, etc. For output statistic, it's basically just dot value. Okay. So hopefully this helps um, and thanks for watching.